this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create uh, the simulated effect of brush pressure that you would get with the tablet. We're going to use that um, simulation to so we can draw freehand. So that if you were using a Wacom tablet, something like this, um, with the tablet with this pen here you can draw, but um, if you go fast then you get thin strokes and if you go slowly you get thicker strokes depending on the motion that you get. And You get all these nice little uh, different uh, width of strokes. Now let me just show you what happens normally. Now let me just select just the normal brush here. And uh, no matter how fast or slow I'm drawing, um, the, the strokes are always uniform like this. And with the tablet this doesn't work, right? So that you'd get different, you know, it'd be thinner in parts and thicker in some parts depending how I go. So we want to simulate that without using a tablet because those things tend to be quite expensive. Not many people have them. But you can still have this cool effect in Photoshop. So the way that we do this is by customizing our brush uh, tool. So we need to go into Window and bring up our brushes here. And make sure that you are on your brush tool here. And uh, there are some things that you can uh, that you can do here with uh, with your brush tool. Let me just turn off some of these things here. And uh, what we can do here, if you if you just pay attention here to the brush, is that there are different brushes here. There's, for example, there's like the solid brush. This is what you'd get if you make a continuous stroke. This is the blurry one. And then down here at the bottom, you start getting a little bit funkier ones. So these are all the same over here, um, just different uh, widths of them. But you can see they're sort of like painterly strokes. Uh, this one as well here. Uh, slightly different. Uh, this one as well, depending here if you make sure the spacing is always at 1% or less. Uh, and you can get different strokes, right? So we're going to use, I think, the a nice painterly ones, such as this, for example. And uh, what you can do here is we're going to pretend that we are, let me just open up, uh, bring up a new layer here. We're going to pretend that you sort of took a photo where uh, someone was, you know, it's late at, at night and someone was, uh, you know, uh, moving around uh, some light source really quickly and if you take a slow uh, picture then you get sort of like this effect, right? But you'd get actually, you know, if they move quickly or faster you'd get thinner strokes and so forth which is sort of the simulation of the brush tool that we're gonna use anyway. So the way that we need to simulate this, and let me just show you back here on the brush um, tool here, is we need to go into Shape Dynamics, we need to turn that on and we need to make sure that here in the control we have pen pressure. Now, of course, this will show you here a little um, exclamation mark uh, telling you that you require a pressure-sensitive tablet for you to be able to do this. But essentially, let me uh, turn off Shape Dynamics here for you to pay attention. So this is the uniform stroke that we get, right? If we turn on Shape Dynamics, and now, if according to Photoshop, if we had a tablet, what would happen is that we get this nice, you know, to get thinner and thicker depending how we're going. So we just need to make sure that we are uh, with Shape Dynamics and Pen Pressure turned on, and this is pretty much the secret of it. Now, if you try to draw, uh, you won't get that, right? Because like Photoshop said, you need a tablet so that you can have those dynamics in there. The way that we can simulate this is to actually go into our uh, pen tool here and underneath the pen tool there's a free form uh, pen tool. So we're going to use this sort of like we're using the brush, right? So we're going to free form, we can just draw as much as we like and we're just going to free form something sort of like to this effect to something so it looks like someone just, you know, did this for example, right? So with the free, uh, free form tool I'm just going to do that and now I'm going to go into our paths, right? If you don't have that, it's window and paths here. And now making sure that I'm on a blank layer with white, I'm going to right click here on our work path, the thing that I just drew, and go stroke path. And making sure that I'm selecting the brush and to simulate pressure. If I click OK and uh, unview here the work path, you can see that we have you know, the strokes here. And it looks really, really cool. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this. And this is just one of them. If you want to, uh, you can modify your stroke here slightly. Let me just show you how we do this. I'm just going to undo here and select a work path. If you find that some parts are kind of rigid, for example, here, there's a, there's a sharp corner here and so forth. You can go in here to convert point tool, select the strokes, and now you can move the points about so that you have more of a curvy uh, point to them. For example, here, it's sharp. I mean, I can make it sharp too. I can change things about, but you can make them, you know, thick or thin and so forth. I'm going to make this sort of roundish here. This one here, 
something like that. And you can also, uh, with the delete anchor point tool, you can also delete some extra points. So you might have too many points, for example, here. I actually believe here is also actually too much as well and here. And now here we can just go into our convert point tool and make something nice and rounded like so. And here as well, like that. So you can play around with it editing your strokes. But essentially at the end of the day, you're just uh, doing the stroke path, clicking OK, and you're getting that really cool simulated effect of pressure without actually having a tablet. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.